welcome back to Isabella von Karstein. Let's go do a thing with her. Your favorite undead lady is back. I would like to go to Grunberg, but unfortunately the dwarves are deciding to come after me. And I'm gonna lose a few locations because of that. I would rather not fight Lord right now, Karak Norn. I wouldn't do it. No, they won't take any money. They're just gonna burn down a few towns that I can't really defend right now. Which is really annoying for me. I'm gonna have to find a way to paddle them. What I'll do then, I'll take a Vampire Lord. Pop them on over over here. And then bring in a lot of units. Oh, by the way, I'm stronger than you. How about that? I'll take a bunch of zombies too for fun. If you want to try to burn that down, well, more power to you. You're not going to do it. All right, what other location might they burn down? Let's go look around. Wissenberg, maybe. We don't have walls there yet, and they're right by it. All right, we'll grab the old man. Come here, old man. Grab your dead. I wanted to save my stuff, but I can't really do that. Piffledorf, they have walls. Would it be enough? I don't rightly know. I could be completely wrong about that. I need a few units to come over to the west now. Oh, if you're curious about my schedule, I've got a link to it down below. You'll know when I upload everything. Isabella, Bordelo, Musion, all coming to you in one beautiful day. I'm finally beginning to figure out YouTube. I'm terrible at it, I know, but I'm trying to figure it out. I'm doing my best to improve. For all of you. Alright, we need a bit more unhappiness. We need more evil here. Alright. I would like to go kill good old Archlector Gelt. I don't know why he's an Archlector, but whatever. Let's go over here and sack it. Because I need to. Give me money. Okay. Thank you for the money. Let's take a look at my mission. I need to complete at least one of these. Yeah, I need to do it like two more times. I'm hoping that I can do it to the same location over and over and over, and then I might be okay. Let's go bring in more vampires to cause issues in the local land. Ah, there's that corruption going up. One day I might be able to walk there freely. Who knows? I could use more dark magic. I think the wine would make me a bit of money, but no. Vampiric Corruption, I could pay for that. I love this new icon mod I have. Isn't it beautiful? I think it's beautiful. Okay, I need walls here. And we're done. Let's end our turn. I have, what? Four and a half armies now, which is not a bad number. It's okay, it's a decent amount. It's an okay amount. We can always do better. We can always become better. We shall see though. Okay, let's go after that little Croc Norn army. I would like to destroy them while we're chasing them. Good old Vladdy Daddy is over here. A level 18 White King. Diedrich the Undying. A Scarred Veteran. Okay, now we can move down again and go after him. Unfortunately, he was able to get away from me, which is a shame, but that is okay. If I don't have Belligar coming after me, that's a good thing. I'm gonna go back after Grunberg again. We're gonna keep on doing what we're gonna well, do to it, which is sack the location. Hates humans, good. I've had a few times where they've come to love humans, like in my Borderlow campaign, who began to love, like, I think the undead or the wood elves. I'm like, what? Even killing them? How's that even possible? That shouldn't happen at all. Alright. Building another building over there. We can't really do too much more. I would like to save up my dark magic if I could. Oh, yeah. Make sure to even check it out, Warsword Conquest. I plan on playing a lot more of that. I think it'll be very exciting. Just watching, you know, two type of perspectives from two different type of game types in a Warhammer setting. I like the idea of that. I think it's a good idea. All right, let's go check our quest again. No, it's got to be different ones. Shoot. So I can go get rid of it. They don't have a lot of other locations, though. Well, if I destroy them, they might give me another quest. I don't know what it might be in the future, but there we are. I'll occupy now. Now I own it. Thank you, lady. I'll build that. I'll repair that location. I still have my vampires here. We still have lovely Nuln. Here's Karak. Norn again. I'm going to go to Piffledorf. Now they're just a little bit happy. 
I want more public order in the local area. That would work out. I've got a necromancer over here. We need to build more buildings eventually. Let's get more income from my buildings. That's a good idea for my necromancers to help me generate more dark magic income. We could go to Talapheim and take it. I'm going to head back real quick and replenish. Oh, didn't lose anything. Fun. Okay. Let's end our turn again. A health steed for Emmanuel. I think not. I'm going to give you Impassioned. For Isabella von Karstein, you have two points. What shall I give you today? You're a great leader of your army. I could have them all have more leadership. That would be powerful. Or a bigger aura. That's another idea. I've given you magic. I could give you more magic. Like earthing. And when of death. Done. She's done well. We're beginning to really push upon Altdorf and the Empire. They won't be here for much longer. We'll keep on destroying them until they're no more. Who's over here? Ah, they come to fight me. You know what? If they want to come fight my simple army, let's find out what they can do against it. They've got a pretty elite group. If only they were at full strength, it would be interesting to watch how well they would do. I think they would actually do fairly well against my little army. My fell bats will go after their gyrocopters. I'll have my dire wolves go around them. They could actually do some big damage to us, depending. We don't have a powerful army, but I do have a leader, and that might do it. See, if I didn't actually raise up new armies, I wouldn't have been able to win a few towns back. They would have burned down at least two towns, and that would have been really bad. I don't want that. All right, hold on. I want actually three of you over here, two of you over here. The zombies will take care of them on the flanks. Or, not the front, you know, the core, the middle. Okay, wolves will be over there. Just chilling out. Fell bats will be over here. Let's get all of you together. All of you together. You two together. You'll be in your own little group doing your own little nightly thing. Let's begin now. We're going to begin the battle by charging right in. Much like that. Fell bats will come over here and over here. Knights, we're going to have you move in. Dire wolves in from behind. Everyone's going to move in now. They have cannons now firing upon my numbers. Very well, they shall go. They're going to be in shooting at me any moment now. And there they go. My wolves will come in from behind later. Got many flanking units on the way. Look at them go after the gyrocopters. They're way too plentiful to really be in any type of dire threat from the gyrocopters. If they have help being shot at, then yeah, they might do alright. Heal them up. And then I have row after row of zombies staggering in to go hold them. And I don't mean in a gentle embracing type of way. Why don't you stop? Did I tell you to stop? I don't believe I did. So don't do that. Might even catch them. That would be good. And shooting at my zombies. Who cares about that? No one cares about that. They're dead! I control them. They're tools. They're puppets. No one's going to cry. Unless I name them. Just don't name your own zombies and you'll feel okay about it. Let's go after these cannons now. And get all their ranged units. We'll bring in some knights too. That's good. Let's come over here now. And get more of them. Let's come over here. Move up a little bit. You'll go after their lord. You'll go help out our lord. We'll zoom in for a little bit and watch the fight unfold. Just for a little bit. Just because I feel like we should. We haven't watched a battle unfold for a while. Let the dwarves do their thing. And that's how they all fall apart. Here comes more skeleton warriors. More dire wolves. Knights have moved in. We're taking out their ranged units. They've got two powerful leaders in the fight. But I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be alright. My fell bats are still going after their gyrocopters all over the map. Let them do that. They may take a little bit of damage. But they will eventually catch up to them at the edge of the map and be okay. Let's bring in even more units. Look at them. They're killing a lot. Look at how many we have over here going to all after one lord. A support specialist. Or a hero. No, no. Lord. Oh, the cannon moved up a bit. After my cannon. Or my cannon. My zombies. My zombie cannons? Oh, that would be interesting. Launching dead bodies from them. I would like that. Coming in from behind. They're going to kill a lot. They've killed 39 already. We did hit them from behind. We're going to debuff them with our poison. But even that will not be enough to keep them at bay. 
Okay. There's not too much more for me to do. Like, they're largely done. I can't really surround them anymore. They're nearly fully surrounded everywhere. Thunderbirds are still going. They've got their shields, right? Yeah. Shields and an axe. I mean, that's pretty heavily armored for a ranged unit. That's definitely very potent to have. Kudos on you, zombies. Get them. Eat them. Let's heal up ourselves in case we overcast and take damage. Who cares at that point? If we do take damage, we'll just heal it back up. Thelbats are still chasing gyrocopters all over the map. By the time they're done, we'll be done here. They're my only units who can't hit them. I have nothing else that could hit them unless they go down to the ground. Eventually, they'll run out of ammo and have to come down. But... Brock the Impenetrable. Well, I don't know. I think we're doing a good job of penetrating that dwarf. If you think about it, I'm losing a few tools, but who cares? They're actually losing lives. Individuals who are still living have personalities, lives, and all of that. We're getting that support specialist. The battle's over. We've won. These Thunderers are still holding. They're still doing their thing. They have 22 kills. Only 22 kills. Let's watch them die now. I don't know what they're doing. Moving in slow motion in sync. Maybe for a dance video. Well, I don't approve of your dance video. We're going to end that right now. Goodbye, little dwarf group. Okay, what about over here? What are we looking at now? We're going after... Oh, okay, the Lord's still dying. A couple of few skeleton warriors who are in proximity to where we're at right now. The Longbeards are the ones who have over 100 kills. And they're doing that heroic thing that, you know, dwarves do. Let's go bring in more to go fight them. Are you that tired or something? It really looks like it. Can we beat him? Let's go get the Longbeards. Oh, zombies, go over here real quick. All these dire wolves. Now they have dogs of war moving in to hit them gonna be a bad day you've cut down so many of the undead only to have more come towards you you know that it's your final moment eventually you'll break your resolve will finally shatter but for now you fight on trying to strive trying to fight for the brother next to you and unfortunately it will be all for naught in the greater scheme of the strategic war that I've been waging attrition is in my favor not for you little dwarf friends and now they're done for now we kill their leader. Now we'll use a bit more magic to restore our numbers just a little bit more. And because we're in a great group, we can heal up everyone in that group. And we go after more Thunderers again. We might cut down a few zombies, but who really cares? I mean, again, they're just going to fall. The battle's over. Let's fast forward. The poor Felbats, like, never caught their targets, but it's okay. They kept them busy the whole game. That's all that they had to really do. Otherwise, they would have gotten a lot of kills. Would it have changed up the battle? Heck no, it would not have. Brock? Really held well. I think he's a pretty high level too. I might actually keep this Lord. It's a good idea, I think. He's a pretty powerful guy. I dig him. Good work, Brock. Oh, <laughs> look at this guy. He's back too. It's crazy how hard they fight. They try so hard to do what they can. And they do not get very far. He's now wounded, but not dead. We've taken out everyone. We've won the battle. Models look great. It's all turned up and whatnot. Oh, are we still chasing a few? I think we are. Who are we chasing? No, we won. There we are. Took a little while. Long battle. One hundred and fifty three taken down. I told you. They would fight hard and they would do alright. It just can't be enough. It's impossible for it to be enough. Let's go and take that dark magic. That is seven hundred and fifteen dark magic, which is a sufficient amount of dark magic to get from a battle of that size. I love it. Alright, they're raiding nearby. I don't know what they're thinking, why they're doing that, but I can destroy them right now. I don't even need to fight that battle out. Now, Rugni Sourscow is gone, and I get even more Dark Magic. I'm keen now. I get even more leadership for my White King and more items. Vlad is now level 23. He's a higher level. He's stronger than before. I could give him more for his melee combat abilities, and I feel like I should. Let's go look at it. Do you have any Vargeist in here? Not yet. You will eventually, but I can give you other things until that point. 
you're a great leader. I mean, that's what I wanted him to be. He's going to need more points to be truly sufficient, though. That is a lot of melee attack for creatures. I mean, I already have a creature theme going on for another army, though. Crypt Ghouls, I don't really use these. I mean, if you had, like, a better thing to buff up other things, I do have uh, Waking Dead. So, instead, we'll go for Bloodlust. We'll go pick up Supernatural Horror, which is a great idea. Now he'll cause terror amongst his enemies. Okay. Vampiric Corruption, not yet. We're not going to worry about that. I would like to raise more dead. Now we have even more dead. We can go after Altdorf later. Let's go over here. She's able to move very far. Now we're in here causing more corruption. 3% more per turn. We're looking at a lot of stuff that's happening around here. We have Work Bad who can build up. I need to go look at locations that are unhappy. I need to go finish off this army too. While I can, I can reach him. I'll lose a little bit of my undead force, but that is okay too. We'll cause more corruption. We'll pick up even more dark magic, which all adds up for me. I'm now going to use a forced march stance or a march stance. Not like we're really forcing them. We want a further movement range and then more replenishment. That's such a core part of my army concepts that I got to keep on doing that. Let's go look at what locations are stable and which ones are unstable. Only Reichland is currently unstable. Very well. I mean, I do have other lords here. I definitely want more corruption everywhere. I have a lot of dark magic. I could definitely afford a better army for that one vampire lord, which wouldn't be a bad idea. I could definitely do that, and it would just be better if I did. Enhance his army. Become better with it. Okay, we can go to Ilhart and raid it, and then eventually take it. We can go over here and fight Emperor Karl Franz. That wouldn't hurt either. I need one more unit. One we'll group of zombies for fun. Let's go raid over in Ilhart. She's level 22 now. Her two vampirises are so very powerful. They can do so much in combat. Okay, more leadership for nearby units. That alone is really worth its weight in gold. I can have more income coming in. I would like to pick up a Brimstone Cutter's Workshop for a bit of marble. Not that I, well, I don't really engage in trade, do I? So the public order would be better for a gibbet. So we'll take that. Krak Norn, I'll go destroy, I think. I think I'll go after that location. It'll be a bit easier for me to go after. So Vlad's going to go over there and destroy them. Averheim. We can't really do too much more. I'm going to have you come back over here to Essen to make them happy for a few turns. Buff up that public order bonus that I have right now. Now we're going to end our turn again. And unfortunately, they're going back to Grunberg. It's Emperor Karl Franz who's going there. I don't have anything to really stop him with. I mean, that wouldn't work out anyway if I tried. They would immediately fall apart. It's Karl Franz. What can we do? What a retrograde. Or gate, rather. Okay. Let's go do more. I mean, we have a steady force. I love how it looks on the map, too. It looks beautiful. Look at that. Let me get rid of the overlay. Oh, not that overlay. My bad. The filter's in. Just a big chunk of land. I think that looks beautiful. It's a great look. Winds of magic. There's corruption in many locations. Not enough corruption, I think. But we're getting there. I actually yes. keep the filters off. I would use the map more. It's very pretty. Okay, we can try to go cut them off. I think I will go do that. We'll move you over to Noln, Abarash von Karstein. We'll have you come over here now to Karak Asgaraz. If we could try to get a peace treaty, that would be good too. What's over here? Potentially more corruption. Let's move you down to Castle Drakenhof. You're going to go build a new army. I'll probably save a bit of coin for that eventually. Let's go ahead and build walls over here because we're going to need walls in that location if we're to defend it in the future. He did do some damage here. I can't repair all of it. That's okay. If they have a rebellion, I'll put down the rebellion and get more dark magic and gain more experience for combat. He went back home. He was actually able to make it around me. That's really incredible. I didn't think he would be able to bypass me like that, but he did. He danced right around me. Okay. I want you to come over here to Asgaraz immediately and burn it down. They're alone. You can do that in one turn. I don't even want to fight that out. It's too minor of a battle. I'm going to sack it. I could just raise it, but it's a lot of dark magic that I do not otherwise have. 
So I would rather do that right now. And then I'm going to do a force march back out so I can quickly replenish. If they had a bigger army, I would fight it out. But it's way too much of a minor fight for me. Immortal Will for more HP replenishment. Just for now. I'll work on your magic later. Here's Nolan again. Very happy. I could bring it up to tier 4. I have the money for it. Let's go look at unhappy locations again. If we find any, we can build it back up. I could go to Altdorf and besiege them. If they want to come out and fight, they can. It wouldn't be a bad idea if they came out to fight me. They have a huge army. It could be very fearsome. And they could potentially beat me. If they beat me, that would be a weird challenge for me. I haven't been beaten in a while. Even if they do, I'll just rebuild my army. They beat Vlad before. I, I remember that fondly. <laughs> fondly, I say. Yeah, that's right. Fondly. I don't mind. I find it funny. I want even more corruption in nearby locations. I need more corruption. There's way too much chaos corruption right now. That has got to go. Okay. I'm going to get rid of your army for now. It's not a bad army, but it could be better. You can have better things. Oh, not really in Dragonhof. Over in Templehof, it looks like. Yeah. I'm bringing you to the Templehof. They're not fully done building up their recruitment buildings over there. So we'll get you some Grave Guard. Oh, I know what we're doing. I'm trying to coax them into coming out to fight me. Chaos is leaving me alone, which is very nice. I mean, they have no reason to directly come after me immediately. They would have to have, like, a type of prideful issue with my leadership. We know that Chaos is now here. Oblivion has come, my lord! Like that. I would rather have a guy like that. Some, like, fearsome sounding fellow. Okay, now that we've largely replenished, we can go back to Karak Azgaraz and finally burn it down. Easy enough. Master of the Black Arcs, we now get plus 15 to our magic power reserve, and we get a new ability to cause more recharging of our winds of magic power. Okay, he's leveled up again. He keeps leveling up. He won't stop it. I'll give him more health. It's actually a fair amount. That'll be a lot when we're at the next and final tier for that ability. We can't move out yet, that's okay, so we'll have some attrition going on. You have a lot of dark magic, I like that. You have two points at the moment, the withering, that's minus 30 armor, and that could be very good whenever we're going after the Chaos Faction. Eventually we'll have to fight them. Let's go over here to Grunberg. We can defend it, I can't really do much more than that. Averheim is over here. We're going to pick up mm, nothing really. I think we're okay. All right. What about you, my friend? You're going to pick up even more units. I want you to have five Grave Guard. I want you to have another Grave Guard with great weapons. Let's end our turn again. They're not coming after me yet, which is really unfortunate. I wish they would be more aggressive and actually come out to fight me. That would be a lot more interesting if they chose to right now. Because no one's going to liberate them. Chaos would have to fight me. It looks like Chaos is finally declaring war on me, so we now have a new war going on. I could even leave the Empire alone for now. I wanted to complete my quest, but I have already completed Vlad's quest in my own Vlad campaign. So I'm not too worried about it. So I might as well actually have a peace treaty and go after Chaos for a little while. It looks like we'll need to. I don't know if the Dwarves will. No, they don't want a peace treaty, so I'll have to worry about them. Karak Norn is probably wanting a peace treaty. I'm going to have them pay me a little bit. However you translate their currency into Dark Magic, I don't care. Just do it. They won't actually pay me that much. Probably because they don't have that much to pay me. So let's try 1300. They won't do 1300, which is really funny because I can destroy them. Alright, demand payment. We'll try 800 right now. Okay. So now the Empire probably wants a peace treaty. I, no I want a bit of their money to too. It. It's funny, they won't become my vassal. Demand payment. We're going to go and take out... Let's try 2000. They're economically weak right now. But we'll take that much, and it's a fair amount. So now that we have that going on, we're looking at the Varg, Scalings, and all of them coming to fight me. I don't even want Grunberg, so we'll leave that alone. I will go rebuild other locations because it's, well, a benefit to me. Grunberg, I don't need. I can go to Kemperbad and rebuild that. That's okay. So we'll go rebuild that now. I'm going to go pick up more corruption with my Vampiruses. I have so many agents out here, and their whole purpose is to go after locations to build up corruption. We want Vlad to come back home now. We're going after Chaos. We're going to go destroy them. I'm going to build up another army to go fight them up north. Okay, so we have two of those. So we know that they're going to have units that will greatly bother me. 
in the form of oh, I'm gonna need a few fell bats probably to go after let me think about it Let's see. they're gonna have hell cannons we're gonna need two of those harpies are a threat they could bring in harpies that's true I can't afford the lances I wish I could but I can definitely get a lot of knights Abarash Let's give you that. I probably need more agents. I have so many right now. I need more magic, so I'll need to begin rebuilding locations like Talibheim. I would like to kind of strike out from Talibheim and maybe draw in Chaos from there and begin to fight them. Vlad could definitely do a lot of damage. If they beat me, I'll just come back and get him again. If they burn out a location, I'll come back and get him again. So Vlad, let's go. Isabella, come on. We keep leveling up so quickly. We get so much experience from what we're doing right now. Scarred Veteran, 4,900 health is a great amount. We could always use more. So we're going to have some great battles eventually. Will it happen yet? Probably not, but we're definitely going to be there eventually. Two bar goals, I like them a lot. They're very expensive for me, though, for upkeep. It's very hard for me to pick them up. I could instead opt to get more Graveguard. But a few of them wouldn't help. They're very quick. You're level 2. So let's go give you Prime Mover, which is what I want you for. To make buildings cheaper for me. Yes, my let's come over here to Talapine, which I want to rebuild. Let's end our turn again. So now we're getting rid... Or not rid, but we're getting ready for a new war. Fighting Chaos. And they're already fighting other factions. They're not really heading towards me yet. They might be going after Bretoni. If they went after the Wood Elves first, that would be kind of neat. If they went after good factions and then me. A Vampire Rebellion. I don't care. Let them have it. Clan Angron is now... Oh, the Dwarf Faction. <laughs> it's much larger. That's a new trade. I haven't seen that before. It's pretty good. I can go after Croc Hearn. That would be a way to make money. I could have a faction go after them. I might have my new lord go after them. Kolek, unfortunately, is moving my way. So we need to move over there very fast. We don't have time to wait, it looks like. Let's move up north and find out if they're nearby. I want Talapheim. I don't know if we can easily hold it, but we'll find out. Okay, I could use more growth while I'm in... Well, I don't really have the dark magic for it, do I? Not really. I, I don't think we can even afford all of that. I'm going to move to Essen now. We're going to have him hold locations for me while we're trying to defend. Rightly so. We're going to get more corruption happening up north. Fighting Kolek will not be easy. That will be a challenging endeavor. He's going to be strong. I don't know if they're going to come after me, though. Okay. Let's move over into Essen. There's Kolak again. Deploy, deploy. We'll move on over, begin to rebuild things and begin to tear them down. I actually kind of want these guys to live. I want the Empire to live. They'll guard my left part of my kingdom. My Empire. If you prefer. Here's a Banshee that I have. Emmanuel Ratep. Weird how they name other vampire clans, but we only really have one in the game, the Von Karsteins. We do have whatever, you know, the Red Duke is. They should just have me write Warhammer lore for this uh, time period and setting. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not really. Alright, let's go up north. Kolek, where are you going, dude? I want to go destroy you. Let me destroy you. I mean, I could go try to... Oh, there's Kolek. Yeah, I was trying to look for him. I want to move over here. Can I raid a move in there? Not real. Uh, hold on. I can kind of make it. There we go. How's that corruption? Hmm. Who's that? Oh, Karan. You're not Kolek. I thirst. Karan. Okay. So we're looking at how much... I want to look at how much vampire corruption. It's only showing me... Ah, oh, here we go. He's got a little army. That's why I can't afford things right now. Actually, I could afford more if I got rid of him. He's costing me way too much, but it is what it is. I'm going to have to deal with it for now. He's only, what, level 4? Which is not a very high level. I need more agents for him to help him in battle. More vampires would be great. I need more vampire crypts in order to build that. 
I need to go to Kislev eventually. They have a great building. For financial matters, of course. Yeah, there's Karan. Over there. Here's Wurtbad. We'll take that a little boost to our income. Isabella moves up. Could you raid your way into a new area? Let's go find out. Maybe right over here. Yeah, we can do that. We're getting more corruption. I need to go conquer these locations up north. Look at that vampiric corruption. Uh, that is a lot of corruption. Those lands look terrible. They've gone through the ringer. It's funny, because Kids 11 Warsword Conquest is so powerful. And here, ah, they're nothing. <laughs> We'll probably see Kiz, uh, Kiz 11, like, Expansion 3, I'm Im imagining. Oh, you're smart. Well, good for you. Moving. Here comes Kolak. Okay. When we are back, we're going to try to encourage a few battles to happen between myself and Chaos. And hopefully that will happen. We will fight them on a field of battle. Leave a like down below if you would like to see another Isabella part. Thank you for watching. And as always, until then.